Housing isn't the only issue, major issue of the campaigns for the Mayor of London. Today, the Healthy Air campaign is calling for London mayoral candidates to put air pollution at the centre of their campaigns. This comes as the current Mayor, Boris Johnson, came under criticism from the London Assembly for a lack of action over emissions in the capital. Olivia Coles asks why the issue is increasingly prominent. Air pollution is the silent killer infecting our streets. This is according to King's College London, who claim up to 9,500 deaths can be attributed to the phenomena in London each year. Andrea Lee is a campaigner from Healthy Air, a national organisation leading the calls to tackle air pollution. There are many health impacts from air pollution, cardiovascular disease, so triggering heart attacks, strokes, heart failure. It also exacerbates um, respiratory conditions, so people with asthma. And also there's a study that's come out from children in East London that's been looking at how air pollution affects them and it's finding that children exposed to levels of air pollution in London are growing up with smaller lung capacity. It's little wonder, therefore, that the problem is developing into a key issue for London politicians. Caroline Russell, a Green councillor for Islington and long-time clean air activist, believes that tackling pollution is tough but could have wider benefits. Our city could be much, much better if we invest in the public transport that we need, if we invest in the technology to remove diesel from our cities and that also means things like our dust carts that you know take away all our refuse those need to transfer from diesel so there's a massive job but we have to see it as an urgent priority because our health depends on it with meritorial elections on the horizon all parties are offering solutions to the complex problem and putting government at the centre of tackling air pollution is the only way to ensure a healthier city, claims Andrea. The problem of air pollution is such a huge problem that it's really difficult for any individual alone to have an impact on it. What it really needs is a national, coordinated approach. People do have a role to play, but if you're not providing them with alternatives, a way of getting out of the cars, a way of the, the buses that they do use to be cleaner, these are not actions that people alone can take, so it really does actually need politicians to lead the way on these. As news emerges that London has exceeded its air pollution limits for the whole of 2016 in the first seven days of this year, it's unsurprising that politicians are feeling the pressures to present new ideas. However, for campaigners like Andrea and Caroline, the real worry is whether these will be merely hot air.